Hi there guys, I'm Macno Tomato, and today I'm going to be bringing you the fourth gameplay guide to Airport City Free to Fly. Before that though, I would like to issue a very brief apology for the incredibly awful static that appeared in half of the previous videos. Hopefully this is gone now, and I apologise for the poor audio in all of the previous guides. Today's guide is going to be about the fuel station. We're going to discuss the contracts, upgrading and any strategies that can be employed. A few facts and figures regarding the fuel station are as follows. The level 1 fuel station costs 250 coins. One contract is available which produces one unit of fuel every six minutes at a cost of six coins. The level, fuel, level 2 fuel station costs 6,000 coins to upgrade and opens up a second contract in addition to the first contract available at level 1. This second contract produces 10 units of fuel every hour at a cost of 74 coins. The level 3 fuel station costs 16,000 coins to upgrade and unlocks all 5 contracts including the first and second contracts available at level 2. Contract 3 allows you to produce 12 units of fuel every 8 hours at a cost of 84 coins. Contract 4 produces 18 units of fuel every 24 hours at a cost of 132 coins. And finally, the last contract costs 156 coins and produces 22 units of fuel every 48 hours. A few strategies that can be employed with the fuel station. It could be argued that the fuel station is the most important building in your city. Because although fuel is added to your store over time, it's not nearly enough to replenish your stock within good reason, and the fuel station achieves this. For example, if you're launching flights to the Turkish coast, which only take an hour, you're going to want to be replenishing that fuel as quickly as possible. Simply waiting for fuel to replenish is not nearly enough to be able to consistently launch flights. The fuel station enables you to produce that extra fuel required to launch these flights. Without fuel, there's no planes to fly, and without flights, there's less money and experience coming in, so you'll advance much slower in the game as a result. The simplest strategy is to upgrade the fuel station as soon as possible to unlock all the contracts and give you that flexibility over time. With all the contracts unlocked, you can apply the appropriate duration to synchronize with your flights. For example, if you're running jumbo planes and flying to the Hawaiian Islands, the 8 hour contract might be best, unless of course you're visiting throughout the day. The most important thing to remember though is to always have your fuel station producing fuel. This will be especially important in the late game where fuel becomes much more of a rarity due to the amount of fuel the larger planes use. The fuel station can be positioned both on the airport side and the city side of your game. Therefore, if you find yourself with limited space on your airport side, you can position your fuel station in your residential area, although personally I wouldn't want to live next to it. The longer term contracts are better value for money, but produce less fuel over time. If you're into maths, this bit will be for you, otherwise you may want to skip ahead. Eight one hour contracts produce 80 units of fuel and cost 592 coins. A simple 8 hour contract, lasting the same duration, only produces 12 units of fuel, but costs nearly 5 times less than what you would be producing with 1 hour contracts. Therefore, you should judge whether the money or the fuel is more important to you before making your choice, whilst also taking into account whether you'll be able to revisit your airport between now and 8 hours time. For instance, if you want to visit your airport in 3 hours time, you may want to put a 1 hour contract in and collect it later on, as you will be able to cover 2 1 hour contracts between those times thanks to your revisit. This makes the fuel station a little bit situational at times, but good management will ensure you make the best choice. As always, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or requests, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And if you're enjoying these guides, give me a sub, and I will send all my appreciation in your direction. As always, be well, be safe, and happy flying.